Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. ASML, as the world's leading lithography machine manufacturer, delivered 450 lithography machines in 2024, creating a revenue of 215.3 billion yuan. Although China's semiconductor industry is also developing, it is somewhat outsider. The speech of Hans, president of ASML, has dealt a blow to the confidence of China's semiconductor industry. However, not long ago, China's Huawei just achieved a technological breakthrough in high silicon semiconductor chips. When this news came out, is the speech of ASML's president just an individual phenomenon? Why does ASML still disdain the Chinese market after Huawei has achieved a major breakthrough? ASML delivered 450 lithography machines. As we all know, ASML lithography machines are the most important equipment in the chip manufacturing process and the heart of the chip industry, accounting for 90%. The technical level of lithography machines directly determines the performance and efficiency of chips, so it plays a vital role in the semiconductor industry. ASML is the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer. The 2023 financial report released recently has excited many people. Data shows that ASML delivered 450 lithography machines in 2023, and its revenue reached 215.3 billion yuan, an increase of about 23% compared with the same period in 2022. This achievement not only made ASML break records repeatedly, but also made ASML proud in front of many chip manufacturers. So does ASML's strong performance reflect the shortcomings of China's semiconductor industry? As the saying goes, good things don't go out, bad things spread a thousand miles. Although China's semiconductor industry has a booming development, it also faces many challenges. The most obvious of these is the Sino-US trade friction. The US restrictions on China's chip technology have not prevented the growth of China's semiconductor industry, but further technological breakthroughs are still needed to become a global leader. ASML CEO Hans said in an interview. So what are the limiting factors that cause the development of China's semiconductor industry? Sino-US trade frictions cause technological backwardness. The impact of Sino-US trade frictions is multifaceted, and the impact on China's semiconductor industry is mainly reflected in the following aspects. The gap in manufacturing technology level. China's semiconductor industry has a relatively low level of manufacturing technology, especially in high-end chip manufacturing. Due to technical barriers, Chinese companies have difficulty obtaining high-end lithography machines and other key equipment, resulting in the inability to produce advanced process chips. Shortage of raw materials China's semiconductor manufacturing requires a large amount of high-purity chemical materials and semiconductor raw materials, but the production and supply of these materials are often affected by international trade restrictions resulting in China's shortage of key raw materials. Difficulties in talent training The semiconductor industry needs a large number of high-quality talents, but due to the impact of Sino-US trade frictions, international talent exchanges are blocked, domestic talent training is also restricted, and there's a lack of excellent semiconductor technical talents. Changes in the competitive environment Sino-US trade frictions have made China's semiconductor industry face a more intense competitive environment. Domestic companies need to invest more resources and energy to cope with external pressure and promote the development of the industry. Therefore, the impact of Sino-US trade frictions on China's semiconductor industry is multifaceted, with both technical difficulties and constraints in resources and talents. However, China's semiconductor industry has also made progress in technology that cannot be underestimated. Huawei's high silicon semiconductor chips have reached the level of mid to high end chips in terms of technology and have also gained a certain share in the market. 
Although there is still a certain gap compared with international leading companies, this is already a very difficult achievement. Therefore, China's semiconductor industry still has great development potential and prospects, and only needs further breakthroughs in technology to achieve greater progress. Is there still hope for China's core? In this case, can China's semiconductor industry usher in spring again? Although ASML and some foreign media have questioned the prospects of China's semiconductor industry, many experts in China are optimistic about China's semiconductor industry. China's semiconductor industry has been working hard to catch up and has made significant progress. China's chip design companies such as Huawei High Silicon have made major breakthroughs in technology and are constantly increasing their R&D investment to promote further development of technology. Although there is still a certain gap compared with international leading companies such as Intel and Samsung, China's chip design companies have achieved the ability to compete with these international giants in some areas. At the same time, China's R&D in semiconductor materials and equipment is also constantly improving, self-developed equipment is gradually put into use, and the quality of domestic materials is also gradually improving. These developments will provide a better foundation for China's semiconductor industry and further promote technological progress. Against this backdrop, China's semiconductor industry is still working hard to catch up and has made significant progress. Faced with the doubts of ASML and some foreign media, Chinese companies will also be more confident and increase investment in research and development to promote the further development of technology. However, China's chip technology is still very limited in lithography. At present, domestic lithography machines are still at the level of 14 to 28 nanometers. Although there is still a certain gap with the international advanced level, there is a possibility of greater breakthroughs in the future. ASML CEO Hans once said, China's semiconductor market has indeed grown significantly, but in order to become a global leader, further breakthroughs in technology are needed. The technological update and iteration of lithography machines is crucial to the development of chip technology. China needs to maintain a calm, and rational attitude towards the current status of China's lithography machine technology. There is still a lot of room for improvement in the technology of domestic lithography machines. China believes that as long as China has enough determination and investment, it will be able to achieve greater breakthroughs in the future. The improvement of the technical level of lithography machines is not only related to the development of China's semiconductor industry, but also to the improvement of China's overall technical level. The improvement of China's chip technology level will bring unprecedented momentum to China's manufacturing industry and help China occupy a more advantageous position in the global market. ASML's strong performance does not mean that China's chip technology has fallen behind. Although there is still a certain gap between China's chip technology and the world's leading level, China's semiconductor industry is constantly trying to catch up. ASML President Han's words certainly make sense, but China cannot ignore the progress made in independent research and development and innovation. The success of Huawei and high silicon semiconductor chips is a microcosm of China's continuous technological breakthroughs. I believe that in the near future, China's semiconductor industry will usher in a new dawn and achieve greater leapfrog development.